Hey everyone, how's it going? Blue Rise here. So I wanted to make something for the Sheng Sheng Zhuang, Sheng Zhang, this event. I'm very bad at pronouncing Chinese. It's not something I practice at. But I wanted to pretty much put like the full first part of the story together. And the first part is until the 6th of June. And then it initiates the second part. So I beat it all already. And I'm really kind of all grinded out right now. I'm going to take a break on the 5th because I just don't want to do this event too much it, it is just too much for me at one point i've heard this is like the biggest grinding event so far anyway we're here at the caldea stuff i don't really care about it i think we should just move over over to the titty monk now i should also mention before we get into it that uh i recorded the battle segments but i recorded them because i wanted to do them and have footage of it but I recorded like during times with a lot of noise and stuff like that so I couldn't really talk during it so they're gonna be montages but that's not really anything new when it comes to uh, my style of fake go story videos and stuff like that I'm stuck between these rocks I can't move now I know a little bit about the journey to the west oh there she is perfect but I don't know like an extensive amount of detail I just know like small references so this would be quite enlightening for me Obviously, I should just read the uh, source material itself, or experience whatever the source material is. I'm not sure what it is. I'm more than uh, willing to say I'm very ignorant on the fact of it. Looks like you regained consciousness. Are you okay? I sure am. Oh my god, they're huge. <laughs> Why is it like that? Where is this, you ask? This place is north of Lulan, west of Hami. It lies in the border between the Great Tang Empire's realm and Gaoshang. We are at the foot of the Five Elements Mountain, where the peaks seem to be able to reach heaven, and you were under some heavy looking rocks. And here's yeah, some sort of kinky play. <laughs> no one would believe you're a monk. Not dressed like that. Huh? With composure like that, you're obviously no ordinary person. Still, you don't look like a demon to me either. Yes, I need to make up my mind. I'm certain that you must be the one I've been looking for. The Buddha must have brought us together. My name is Xuanzang Sazang. What about you? Yo. I love energetic disciples. Oops, you're not my disciple yet. I'll, I'll gladly be. Okay, first let me get you out of there. Behold the blessing of Buddha. Uh, words I cannot pronounce. Oh my god, you look better in full color. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Do you want me to get you some bandages? Alright, now let's start over. Let me introduce myself, you already did. Despite how I look, I'm a monk. A proper monk that follows the teaching of Buddha. What? <laughs> would, would a Buddhist person really let a woman reveal this much though? I, I don't know, maybe it's part of alignment, right? I don't I don't get it. It's obviously the over-sexualized designs of Type Moon when it comes to their female characters. But like, <laughs> you could have made her more modest and kept her as a Buddha character. She could have had large breasts, it's totally fine. I'm not really 100% complaining about it because I enjoy it, but still. Increase that awkward conversation of, I'm a monk, but your boobs are out. I'm currently on the middle of a journey to the far western land, Shanzu? Tianzu? Under the decree of the Emperor of the Tang Dynasty. As for my mission, um, it's obviously to collect the seven Dragon Balls, right? You mean materialize a wish granter that could fulfill any wish by offering blood to those seeking it? Is that what it is really from? Too bad I won't be swayed by such an easy temptation. But you're right on track. Yes, I am collecting something. As for what I'm collecting. Scriptures. I have a duty to collect the strip. Oh. Scriptures. I have a duty to collect scriptures. Scriptures can be found on the way to Shanzu, but the demon I've subdued to guide me ran. I mean, he got separated from me. And my horse got eaten. I mean, I gave it a break. I've been lost. I mean, fighting by myself for days and then I ran to you. I was so scared. Yeah, very virtuous, I guess. What? You got a problem with a virtuous monk like me? By the way, isn't it about time for me to tell you about yourself? I see. Mm -hmm. Incinerated Earth. Singularities with holy grails. Guardians of humanity. I believe your story. This must be part of Buddha's guidance, I'm sure. The Buddha exists beyond space and time. He could send a messenger from the future to the past. So, how do you get back to Chaldea? Don't you have any tools to send an emergency signal? Mm, nope. You're lost. Oh my, so you're lost too. Good, good. We're rather alike, you and I. Hmm. 
Uh, I mean, now that I know the reason behind our encounter. When I become great, I will say this. Do good deeds, punish bad deeds, listen to slang. So, become my disciple. Only if you're making number one. Of course, easy peasy. You are my number one disciple. Yay. Like that. To tell the truth, I remember a little bit. I think I've experienced this journey to Shanzhou once before, but I can't remember the specifics. Just like you, I don't know left from right. It's very strange, but this must be some sort of meaningful fate for the both of us. This journey to the West is a trial from the Buddha, so he won't give you an answer. He won't do anything. Most likely there's a reason for this, to send you back to Chaldea. That's the challenge I was given. For you, it's a gift from on high. So from now on, you can call me master. That's not how it works here. Don't overdo it, Sanzan Chan. Just so you know, I won't take a rebellious people like you to Nirvana. Anyway, scriptures won't just fall into our hands. Come, let's head to the land to the far west. Go west. It's coming back to me now. I have three disciples. Say, disciple, do you happen to know about my past disciples? Nope. Uh, a monkey, a pig, and a kappa, a black panther, a puppy, and glasses. I think it's the glasses one, for sure. You mean a dog, a monkey, and a pheasant, right? Hmm, why do I know that? Anyway, speaking of monkeys, Sun. Sun Wukong. My reliable number one disciple, what about me? Yeah, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Thank you for your thoughtfulness, you're so kind. But there's no need to worry. I'm sure I'll remember why I lost my disciples during our journey. But this is a problem, a huge problem, perhaps. I'm on the journey to Tanzu. I wonder why Sun Wukong isn't here. Not just Wukong, but the other two peoples too. That's right, Zhu Majin and Sha Wujing. They are not here either. This must be a message from the Buddha. I mean, journeys are always so mysterious. Well, your new number one disciple will take care of it. Me! Oh, let me just be number one for you. Wait a minute, why am I getting clustered for? Oh, haha. <laughs> I'm winning my way into our heart. I'm surprised that the new disciples like you can think like that. But that's prohibited here. As a disciple, you must follow Buddha's teaching and worship him. Be careful not to brag too much. Oh man, that's not me. The law in the jungle applies to the journey to Shanzu too. If you're not careful, you'll be eaten by demons. But, well, considering the hardships we're going to face, Having another disciple or two would be reassuring. For example, Ji Ba Ji. Oink oink. Oink. What is that? Buhi? 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 What is this? I'm hearing a squeal of a poor piggy. I'm oink. Very oink. <laughs> hey, David. Yeah, he's a pig. He's a definite pig. His name is David. Just like you, he was underneath a rock. No, no, no. I'm the cool Ji Ba Ji. Well, here at least. That's how things seem to turn out. Your friend, then he's a member of Kaldea too. Eh, just ignore him. We don't need him. He's only useful for this event. No more indecisive attitude. Anyway, I'll rescue you from right there. That yeah, more words I can't read. I'm saved. Thank you. I couldn't do anything about myself. I thought I was going to become monster dinner. Right, the situation was about to get much worse. I was starting to feel good about being squished. Ew. That was a close one. Muhi. It was truly painful. I want to emphasize that part. I mean, I can sue for damages later. No, let's refrain from talking about that right now. So you're Shuang Zhang Sazang, as beautiful as rumored. That dress is so beautiful and perfect for a wedding. It is not wedding material. Were you expecting this chance meeting? This is an important kasai given to me by the Buddha. Don't confuse it with a wedding dress, okay? You're not. Are you going to know the fact that she, the nun one? Why? There's no problem, right? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what a horn dog. It's true her beauty makes me want to eat her up. My name is Yubaji David, oh beautiful lady with long black hair. I will gladly become your disciple. Actually, there's another one stuck in a rock who was fit to be your disciple. He got involved in the same fashion as me. We'll talk later. Show me where he is. We don't want the rock to crush him. Yep, it's him. You have my gratitude for releasing me from this prison. My name is Lu Xi Wen. Not an assassin worth mentioning. It seems I here will be known as the third disciple, Sha Wu Jin. You may refer to me as So from now on. Nope, monsters. Oh <laughs> wow, they came right behind her too. Looks like their uh, their story game is getting a little uh, leveling up a bit. It's just been one thing after another, but we can't let them eat us without a fight. Is it all right, my master? This is self-defense, not some unnecessary killing. Now then, we can't let Master walk on this long, difficult journey. We disciples are one thing, but she's another. Do you want to ride on my shoulders? I don't have a ponytail, unfortunately, but I wholeheartedly refuse. However, I do wish we had someone to carry our luggage. Hmm. Red, it can't be. 
The Tartars of this land are known for breeding great horses. Can we bring one over? If that's your wish, I guess. What's a Tartar? No. Alright. <laughs> that's so stupid. Let's go home. There's nothing here. No west. That's a uh, Lubu. Yep, Lubu. So the fourth companion is that fierce warrior. I see, instead of the famed red hair, we get its rider instead. Well, it shouldn't pose a problem for us. My master, please take a ride. <laughs> no, I can't. This horse is scary. Th this is the lost scripture. You're protecting it yourself in this wasteland? Words. I'm so sorry that I screamed. You're an amazing attendant and an amazing horse. It's scary, but it's part of my training. Oh, magnificent red horse, lend me your shoulders. Horse. On his shoulders. Wait, there was an option to ride on my shoulders too, booty. Hey, actually, this is nice. Are you used to letting people ride on your shoulders? He's blushing. I'm used to it too. Strange, very strange indeed. Also, Zhu Baji, you need to shut up. Sun Wukong. Sha Wujin, Bad Baji. This is a commercial force order. We, the Sazine crew, will collect the scriptures on our own way to Tijang. If you have any objections, I won't get mad, so come forward. I'll put this golden headband around your head and start preaching. I'll make you change your mind, and no one shall go against me. Uh, refu we can't refuse. There's no choice. Let it go. This is the real Sazine. You can't escape this fate. We have no choice but to accompany her on this journey. I don't think this is interesting, oink. Silver Horn. It seems like this fearless, pitiful Tang monk has stepped into our territory, the Lotus Cave. Golden Horn. It seems this cute and delicious looking Tang monk was lured by the aroma of the Flat Peak Mountain. If it's a man, let's melt him all the way to the bone, taunt him, torture him, and then swallow him. Isn't that right, Silver Horn? Yes, Golden Horn. However, if it's a woman, let's welcome her warm heartedly. Play with her, befriend her, and slowly drink her dry. Horse, he said there's a cave up ahead. Hey, just one thing. Who is Mash? You were calling that name when you were under a rock. Oh, um, is she important to you? I feel like we are together even when we're apart. A junior that's very important to you. That one. I see. Oh, what, what character was that? I think I recognize that um, silhouette. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen that server. Something smells sweet. The smell of fruits. This place must be a food storage. That's my number one disciple. You have a great nose. I mean, intuition. Let's eat. I thought you'd be the one to eat it first and turn into a carrot. I guess it won't be that easy. Welcome to the Lotus Cave. Tang Monk and her apprentice. There's no need for us to use noble phantasms. Once you're under our poison, you will call out our names and beg us. Come, melt them away, unthaw them, dissolve them, and drink them all up. Bronze Horn. The first time I heard of this. It's Medusa. Right, I'm, I'm Bronze Horn. Great, Bronze Horn is outside of my strike zone. Don't hold back to the feeder. Honestly, I've lost my will to fight. My master, shouldn't we save Bronze Horn over there? No, we can't. I can tell this is just another one of their tricks. It's a conventional method to make us lower our guard. We can't buy into it. Besides, my stomach's at its limit. We'll only talk after we've taken their food. Hey, Go! Be good with the big girl first. I'm sorry, Medusa. Well, I'm stuffed. The Golden Horn and Silver Horn escaped, but they didn't really do anything bad, so let's turn the blind eye for now. I was a little worried, but it seems this around my disciples are hard workers. Wukong, Wujing, Baji, thank you guys. Now, let's continue our journey to Shanzu. Wow, the wind feels so good. We're finally done with the desert area. Now it should be peaceful for a while. This whole area looks familiar, too. Now I remember. Right. I was thinking. We just need to avoid every enemy base from now on. I pretty much already know the location. 
wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, Yosi is Sasang and her followers, right? I'm not gonna let you get any further. I am the protector of Fire Cloud Cave in, in Withered Pine Valley. Red Boy, the Boy Sage King. My father will praise me if I return home with your head. Your father must be the Ox Demon King, according to the story of the Journey to the West, that is. Hey, call him by his proper name. He's the great sage who pacifies heaven, the great king of strength, the nine-headed Ox Demon King. Oh, damn, I said it again. That, that's fine. My father's cool anyway. Hmm, I can die in peace. I've never seen such an inspirational attitude. What a graceful opponent she is. I think I can get along with her pretty well. But it's too bad. Even if you were a friend, I'll crush you if you get in my way. That's my attitude. I'll give you a chance to reform yourself afterwards. I mean, we're already halfway friends. Damn it, fine, you won. Here's the scripture. Take it and get out of here. Wait a second, red boy. No, mo boy. Mo boy? Where do you think you're going? You know that neither the fire cloud cave nor the skyscraping cave is that way. Where I'm going is none of your business. Since I lost to the heinous Sazang group, I'm just gonna hide until things die down. Anyway, I can't go back to that miserable house now. Not only that, while my father may be really cool, my mother is. She's like a dump truck with busted brakes, to put it mildly. If you're going to proceed, be careful, Sazang. It's better for you not to get involved with that woman. Guys, those mountains there must be so much fun, huh? Our master seems to be very hyper. I wonder what's up with her. We defeated Red Boy. In that case, our next big obstacle is the Flaming Mountains. On a different note, my master, we're being followed. Did you sense their presence? That's fine. It's natural that we're being targeted by demons. It's actually rather convenient for us. We can lose them in the Flaming Mountains up ahead. Hot. It's so hot. Blue heat. Sister, to be honest, despite my appearance, I can't stand the heat. It's like I'm going to get roasted. The flames here don't extinguish with rain, nor do they burn out. They say they can even melt the toughest iron. No wonder servants, much less normal humans, would want to avoid this place. Of course, I mean those mountains are definitely interesting. Horse. My master, he's saying it's not just about having fun, oink. That's because you haven't had enough training. Perfect. Let's earn some training points right now. This is Blue's providence. You need to get used to hardships. Aside from the demons, I too had anticipated these flaming mountains. If it's a trap from Buddha, this fire will surely die if you walk through it. Just one. Although I might need some time. She went for it. She's really walking on the flame. I thought I was gonna die. Of course, that's what you get for trying to run in fire. Apparently, flesh burns even if it's not touching the fire. So that's what it means to smoke something. If I wasn't wearing the Takaya's Kasaya, I would have turned into coal. Beyond uncool, these mountains are no fun at all. But, it's different, completely different. They're not the flaming mountains I know. Ah crap, Mash. Guys, don't interfere with this story. Hm? Those are demons we drove off in the mountains. They're coming this way.
I'm at a loss for words, but I'm sure this is Buddha's unwavering will. Oh, whoa. Flaming mountains. They are a test. Yeah, I know I knew this servant. I don't know their name. A new face. At any rate, now what have we seen in Chaldea? Twin tails in the Chinese dress. Chun, Chun Li? I feel like I can almost remember you. Why? Why is this so frustrating? This intense feeling of deja vu is suffocating. Impossible. Cannot remember. Thy memory inside the scripture. Lamentable. Shuang Zhang Sazang. Once pure and holy, currently despicable, mediocre woman. No will to sacrifice thyself. Bereft tolerance and benevolence. No, there is no shortcut to Zhang Zhu. To simply put, you no longer fit the Qishan's Da Sheng's master. Sh it, shocked. I I'm shocked too, I guess. Chat completed. That flaming spear must be the fire tip spear. And those bangles she wore must be the universe ring. In addition, her young appearance, although she does speak in a strange tone, it appears she might be Prince Neza, the Marshal of the Central Altar. One of the names well known with the Kishin Dashing, Sun Wukong. Wait, that's Sun Wukong? Am I? Wait, 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 wait. One with a name as well known as Ki Kishan Dashing, Sun Wukong. Oh no, she's not. Don't underestimate that young warrior. She's a doll made entirely of Pao Pei. In Chaldea's terminology, she would be called a noble phantasm human. I feel I must cross swords with that warrior. Wait, wait. Isn't she a boy? I mean, wait, a prince? Whatever. She left with a scripture content that contains the master's memory. So we came up dry this time. Seems that we can't cheat. There's always someone watching. I guess it's the same in every country. Banana leaf fan. I remember now, the banana leaf fan. Listen, we took the wrong steps. We need the noble phantasm, and I have to cross the flaming mountains. We need the banana leaf fan. Princess Iron Fan's noble phantasm. In order to extinguish the wild flames of the flaming mountain and get to Shanzu, we need to get the banana leaf fan. Easy, easy, let's get it. And Princess Iron Fan, the one who resides in the banana leaf cave, is the ruler of said fan. Rejected. Please leave now. Oh, uh, there's Princess Iron Fan. Well, that's nice, huh? You wouldn't even consider it? There have been no reports of anyone falling ill around the flaming mountains. Those flames must have strong antibacterial effects. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but no one is alive either. <laughs> I'm quite offended that you will criticize my charity work. There are many uses for the banana leaf fan. However, I cannot lend it to you for a trivial reason like extinguishing a mountain fire. Did you come here to provoke me? I'm always furious at this unsanitary world. At the fact that that accursed disease runs rampant everywhere. Yes, travelers like you are beyond help. I am so careless. There's one facility this mountain is missing. I'm used to people writhing and screaming in pain. Scream like you could tear up the sky. Fine, I'll accept your challenge. You guys are counting on you. So this is the banana leaf fan. It looks pretty different than the legends. Doesn't it look like a certain holy sword? Is it even okay for a monk to hold a sword? You can hold my holy sword, my Excalibur. It is said in order to cut the root of the fire from the flaming mountain, you must fan it 49 times. But she says that since this is EX rank, you only need to fan it once. Here we go! X? Cala banana leaf fan! Amazing is gone, it blew out all the fire. So that firewalking training was for nothing? Well, never mind. I am the eldest of a fraternity of demon brothers whose names are renowned even up in heaven. I am the nine-headed de ox demon king. Hereafter, you may refer to me as ox demon king. No need to prostrate yourselves, just relax. Uh, yes, your majesty. Oh. <laughs> ox, cow, chichi. What are you looking at? My eyes are up here. I mean, I haven't been looking at Sansang's eyes. I look at Mash's eyes. I must commend you for your efforts. You traveled all the way from Tang, even crossing the Flaming Mountains. Rumor has it that my son, Red Boy, caused you trouble. No need to tense up. I am not being sarcastic. You may laugh at me for being a bad parent. Not at all, by the way. We, um, 
kind of forcibly borrowed this upon your wife. The Escalabana. <laughs> the Escalabana Leaf Fan. We understand it is your prized possession. We would like to return it now. Yes, you may have my gratitude once again. Then let me move on to important matters. Oh, eminent Tang Monk. Xuan Zhang Sazang. This is a scripture that has been entrusted to me. And this is the other scripture Nessa gave me when she visited this castle earlier. You may have both of these scriptures. It is Buddha's will. Meaning your journey ends here. Yay, alright, video over. See you guys next time. <laughs> Obviously not. What did you say? I said it is Buddha's will. Now you have all six scriptures. Buddha said he seals your memory of the realization that the transient nature of the five desires into the scriptures scattered along the trip. Alright, what? The five desires are sights, sound, sense, taste, and tactility. In other words, the attachment that arises from contact with the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and body. I would love to have these contacts with Sazan. The last of the six scriptures is meaning, the attachment produced by the heart. Ending your journey here and being satisfied from the bottom of your heart will recover your, the enlightenment you lost. What? What? Wait, wait. My journey doesn't end here. It still continues. I'm going to Zhanzu. That's why I traveled this far. You already have all the scriptures. Do you not understand? It is Buddha's mercy. Swanzang Sazang. But what will happen to them? What's going to happen to my dear disciples? Your apprentice will continue to Shanzu. That will bring them back to the world they belong to. You too, you have a place you must go back to. No, I want to continue my journey. I haven't accomplished anything. I appreciate the scriptures, but that's not it. I'm not ready to recite them correctly. I'm not there yet. How unreasonable are you? If you cannot realize that, you are far from enlightenment. No need to worry though. Let me blow your attachment away and send you back to the furthest ends of the Far East with my fan. The Excalibana Leaf Fan. I see. This is my own battle. You guys shouldn't come. In other words, it will make Buddha angry. And you won't be able to return. No, my unworthy number one disciple. What about you? You are not a servant. You should go back to those dear to you. Yeah, yeah, you're dear to me now. You're all so fearless, you stupid pupils. It's... It's not my fault. Huh? I only made one wish to exchange for complying with the Buddha. Princess Iron Fan's table, tablecloth, and tableware, and table napkins, and everything. Uh... Alright. They're all full of a pungent odor of disinfectant, so I asked if he could please do something about it. I apologize for the unsightly manner. Fair warning, I do not guarantee anything on your way from here on. You will most likely not have Buddha's protection either. Don't worry, Ox Demon King. Do you think my faith will waver because of that? Besides, that's what makes a journey a journey. Gandahara is so big. On the other side of Xianzu lies Mandala. I thought you were headed west. Isn't it south? If you're asking where Xianzu is, it's in India, of course. What are you muttering about? Look. A river. The Great Golden River. We're finally here. Oh dear, old Genghis. Oh. <laughs> Namaste. The five star duo. Uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, it's her again. Nate, Underworld, Guardians. Neza, I knew you would come. Understand now, Zhuang Zhang? Yes, I do, Neza. Those two are great heroes, as well as demigods. The embodiments of my fear. The fear of going to the outside world. The anxiety I can't brush off. I was summoned as Chaldea's servant. But since I believe I have reached enlightenment and abandoned all earthly desires, I refuse the summon. If so, it's only my selfishness as a human being. 
It's probably Da Vinci's fault. I don't want to leave my disciples anymore. I don't want to die alone anymore. Still, even if I were on my own, as long as I can continue this journey, I will take that opportunity no matter what. Sun Wukong is not here now, but... Song Zhang, I too, give assistance. Neza you? No, there's no need for that. You are Buddha's messenger, sent to complete this broken scroll. Or perhaps you're like a lens for me to perceive the Buddha in this hollow world. Isn't that right, Neza? Understood. Will, withdraw. Chat completed. Neza's gone. I wonder if it's possible to summon her as a servant, of course. More importantly, is it a boy or a girl? Huh? Well, even the Buddha himself doesn't know much about Prince Neza in a Chinese dress. Well, the latest issue has been overcome. I will not stop regardless of who my opponent is. Guys, follow me to the end. Let's conquer this last trial, that great river. Uh, hey, Mash. This must be Buddha's guidance. No, maybe it's your own luck. Or... The right time. And lastly, if I ever gain Buddha's guidance again and manifest as a servant in the future, I will take you as my disciple again. If that's the case, you need to call me Master. That's, um, well, it depends on the merit. You will have a cure by that day. That's why I won't say goodbye. Instead, I will recite a blissful sutra. So you will have perfect health, okay? Ah, shit, more stuff I can't read. Alright, and that's it. That's really cool. I wish I could have summoned her. I've tried. I put a few summon tickets and quartz into it. I didn't summon her at all. I want a limited 5 star servant, but I'm not going to push it, I'm not going to wail for it, so whatever. Like Shuten was the last thing I really really wanted. I got, whatever. It's, it's done here. Thanks for watching. I'll definitely see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Discord, we're trying to get up to 100 people by the end of the year. I think we can do it. Peace out guys.